how come all this white space? And I would like to compare that to an interstate or a highway. Um, I'm a visual thinker, so that's why. Um, if you think about, like, if you go to Chicago, and just to ask you guys a question, what happens if we utilize the asphalt of the interstate at 100%? What happens? Traffic jam. In a traffic jam, your speed goes down, and sometimes you're even standing still. It's annoying, right? And also, if I would stand right next to the interstate and actually count the amount of cars, if I would draw a line on the interstate and count the amount of cars that come over the, that line, I would see that if I utilize the asphalt at 100%, that there's less cars coming over that line than when I utilize less of that interstate. So that was one of the biggest lessons we learned. And then I read the book of Rajan Suri, and he actually, um, that was in line with what he said also. So if you think about your manufacturing process, um, that is, this is what happens, only then we'll have floating bottlenecks. One time bending is really busy, so that's, there's a traffic jam in front of bending. Another time, a machining is really busy, so there's a traffic jam in front of machining area. But also in the office, engineering, think about engineering. There's a stack of papers you have to work through, and that bottom paper is the most important, but they're all just white paper, so who knows that? You know, so that is all, indications and signs that you guys might have a traffic jam also. If you see that in your company, you might have a traffic jam. So in comparison to what Rajan taught us, um, we can see, also compared to the interstate, it, the more cars there are on the interstate, the longer my travel time will be. And at the, on the other hand, the more cars on the road, the more unpredictable my arrival time will be. And now Rajan proved in his studies that about 80% capacity utilization, that is, that, that's the point where your speed versus your output is optimal. So in order to create a good um, relation, or how do you say that, like in order to have a good flow, you should start using, uh, you should schedule your machines at 80%. Compared to the highway, you use less of the asphalt but actually the flow will go up and the output will go up. So that's our second lesson that we learned. Excess work and process leads to exploding lead times. With other words, if I go over the 80%, my lead times explode. And in order to keep your lead times short, <coughs> schedule at 